once again welcome back guys this is Jaffrey with your login and register fragments activity part 2 I forgot to teach you about dynamic UI so I am here this is our portrait oh sorry my mobile was locked this is our portrait for is here and here is my tab emulator which is in landscape so I am going to add activity for landscape Go to under resource and type is layout and we are going for a orientation which is in landscape okay. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy activity login and content login content register for a landscape okay here what I'm going to do is in the content login I'm going to hide because we are uh, hide uh, go to register account and go to login account because we are displaying both the content in the same page as soon as I'm going to resize it to 100 dp so on the screen okay also mm, we need to disable it for Visibility go. Okay, I'll put the go. Uh, for login also. That is the Number one. Visibility gone. Yes. From activity, we are not including this. Install. We are adding fragment. It is match parent and match. Okay. The Android ID. We must need to specify ID or tag for fragments. Then register fragment and we need to assign class. Register class, which is our register class in fragments. This is our package name and fragments inside register. Then again, oh, need to pick a layout. Then I will pick content register because it's register activity. No, register fragment. No, so just a copy for login. Login. login from as well as here go with the login good then I will switch to linear layout and we need to specify orientation to vertical oops horizontal again okay. Android layout words so 1.0 and for this 0.5 and for this 0.5 oh we good to go we will give match pad match pad okay here you are register and here is our login activity let me show you by running first time running in ops i forgot to code in login activity first we need to check whether our app is mobile is in landscape or portrait for that get res ops get resource get configuration dot orientation that's equal to equal to configuration dot orientation port right I'm going with the if condition and then execute this if it is not in portrait mode then don't execute anything just inflate the um, activity login from landscape 
making sure you play running. Now it's running in my mobile. Register. Login. Okay. I'll keep it here. And oops. I will run it on the tab, which is here. And it's here. Oops, it's taking much time to install the tab. Oh, oh finally got launched. Arduino Splash. Yes, here is our register, and here is our login activity. If I register, if I log in, okay, I will go for Jaffrey. First, I'll JSON one two three. Done. Username and password is wrong because I'm not at register. Okay. Oops. Okay. One two three. Oops. Oops. Unfortunately. Let me check about the error. Oh, something went wrong. Uh, let me run again. Mm, no view found. Oh, this was our exception. Okay, finally understood. If it is in landscape mode, we are performing login activity from register. Here we need to add some more extra code. If it is in landscape, once registration success, if it is in landscape, we don't need to perform go to login activity here. The get activity. Get resource, get configuration dot orientation is equal to equal to configuration dot configuration port right. Then execute this line. Okay, here. Otherwise, don't execute this line. Okay, let me just take it. It's running in my mobile. Oh, it's not running in me. Let me run away. And access files. Oh, tab. It's got running. Yeah. Alright, we are having GF and password is one to three for registers and success. Then I will go here in GF one to three four and login. Oh, login with success. Thanks for watching, guys. If you are enjoying this video, give me a thumbs up. If you are having doubt, comment it below. We'll meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.